Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, myself Kavita. In this video, I am going to discuss about the 6th standard ICSE syllabus geography lesson 1. So here, uh, the chapter name is representation of geographical features. So first, uh, before going to the lesson, let us understand about the key concepts. So which uh, points we are going to discuss in the coming video. So here, maps introduction of the maps are uh, different between maps and sketch plan and globe importance of maps types of maps based on the scale scale meaning and uses direction like uh, eight cardinal points and even symbols diagrams with a brief explanation uh, like a uh, river meander and tick line sink line and tributaries uh, distributaries delta and block mountains so here there are various ways of the representing the earth. For example, when we talk about the geography, geography is the study of the earth's landscapes, or like for example, people, uh, places and climate. So that kind of the study you want to learn, you can go to the geography study. So in other words, it describes the world in which we live in. Uh, our earth is a huge planet. Uh, we all know that one okay with varied landscapes and features there are mountains hills valleys and plains plateaus oceans and even lakes and deserts also we can find in earth there are various variations in climate also right uh, like a soil vegetation is different from one place to another place soil is different from one place to another place uh, like uh, natural resources and wildlife and social and cultural features also very different from one place to another place suppose we have to study and indicate all the places where the particular type of climate is found our particular crops are grown how do we go about it do you have any idea about it no uh, it is here the role of geography comes in so various tools are used to represent the various features of the earth the most common of these tools are a map a globe a sketch a plan and a diagram okay so this one each of these along with the associated advantages and disadvantages has been discussed in this chapter first so what do you mean by maps so maps uh, maps are the main tools of the student of geography a map is a representation of the earth surface or a part of it drawn on a flat surface to a scale so it is shown uh, both the natural and man-made features also we can find out in the map usually maps are drawn to show features like political boundaries population climate mountains rivers uh, vegetation roads railways minerals industries etc in fact maps provide maximum information in a minimum space and thereby save hundred of pages of a book and along with that we will also uh, have a collection of a different types of maps bound together in the form of a book. It is called as a, an atlas. So, uh, here you, from here you learnt about the uh, definition of the maps. Now, we come to the types of maps. So, why we want to learn about the types of map? We want to know about the different types of the maps. The first category can be on the basis of details that need to be shown in a map. So, here types of map based on a detail shown. Depending on a kind of details, it wants to show a map can be divided into the following categories. First one is political maps. So, in this, uh, the political map shows the boundaries the maps that show different countries of the world along with their states, national and international boundaries, political units and administrative divisions are called as a political maps. So, uh, can you see this political map? In this political map, uh, we can see the states and their uh, uh, states, uh, their uh, capital cities and the country boundaries also we can see. Even some uh, kind of the international boundaries also we can see uh, along with that administrative regions also we can see in this political map and next one is physical map so here the uh, what do you mean by physical maps so the maps that provide details about the natural features of an area or a country like a mountains plateaus plains rivers lakes and oceans and other features are also called as a physical maps 
so you can see this indian india physical map we can find out the kind of uh, mountains plateaus rivers lakes oceans etc okay th so this is called as a physical map and the third one is thematic maps so you uh, can uh, differentiate between the one map to another so the thematic map may show the population rainfall crops wildlife etc in this map different color shades uh, will be represented like yellow deep yellow orange and red show the density of the population of the states of the india there are several thematic maps in this atlas okay so we can find the in atlas book there are different thematic maps so and also you can uh, take the like a key like for example red represents a very thick thickly populated uh, areas and uh, orange represents thickly populated uh, areas and uh, uh, light uh, yellow represents uh, moderately populated and like uh, yellow it represents sparsely populated so the, these are the key features in the map so uh, then com coming to the we learned about the thematic map so what do you mean by uh, to topographic maps so we learnt three maps that is political map of physical map and them thematic map so coming to the topographic maps topo in addition to these maps there are topographic maps topos means place graphy means to describe so that means the place is going to describe which give detailed information about local landform for example you can take streams rivers canals roads and buildings structures for example railway tracks and other features of a smaller areas so these maps are based on the accurate survey of a land so these maps are also useful to people such as surveyors and civil engineers they are engaged in the construction of buildings roads bridges and other structures they are also useful for the military purpose which uh, uh, maps will be useful that is topographic maps will be useful all this activities so it represents like this you can see uh, this this is the topographic map of india so it will be giving a clear picture of the particular area so here also you can see altitude scale uh, they are giving in a different colors for example meter they are measuring meter wise like that next coming to the types of maps based on a scale so how uh, we can divide so maps can also be divided into two categories based on the scale used to draw them how they will uh, draw for example small scale maps so small scale maps are maps which show a large land area in a small space for example uh, it will be measurable uh, like 1 cm on a small scale map could represent 200 km on a ground the features of area represented on such maps are therefore uh it is called as a small scale map but in this small scale map the information will be not clearly visible only uh, some kind of information we can get where for example we go to the uh, small small scale small scale map so you can see in the india the small scale map shows a large area but when we talk about small scale maps so the small scale map will be giving a information about the large area okay now coming to the large scale maps so large scale maps are maps which show smaller areas of the land in a bigger space for example they will be measuring 1 cm on a large scale map could represent 1 km on land such maps can uh Uh, therefore provide detailed information about the features of an area they are all they are representing so that means when we talk about small scale area the information will be not clearly visible and when we talk about the large scale area this uh, a large scale maps will be providing detailed information example can you see this one uh, uh, here when we taken the full uh india map for small scale map it shows a large area so it represent as a for example you can see scale here 0 km 100 400 600 km they are measuring in that scale 1 km is equal to considered as a 200 sorry 1 cm is considered as a in a small scale 200 km area so when we talk about large scale uh, large scale map it shows the details of a small area for example in uh um 
Indian map only they taken Delhi part. So here you can see district map they taken. Here the large scale uh, will be giving a detailed information. Okay, in this a large scale map shows details of the small area. So along with that you can uh, point out the key points also. For example, here state boundary they are given, district boundary. So this key points will be helpful for the uh, people to identify the particular places. So with this I am going to end the, this chapter. Next video I will be discussing the remaining part. Thank you for watching. Uh, we will see in the next video.